Hello, my name is Cornelius Kodel and I want to show you a new feature of Privacy Idea 2.11. This new feature is the radius policy. You can define radius servers and you can use this to perform easy migrations. For example, if you have old authentication systems like RSA, Vasco, or the um, McAfee authentication system, which is uh, said to be end of life, you can easily migrate your existing um, one-time password authentication to privacy idea. So let's take a look. First, I have created a, a dummy authentication server. Imagine here's my um, OTP system, my old proprietary OTP system. It contains the user Cornelius. The user Cornelius can authenticate against this radius server with a password top secret. I use this radius client and here I see the radius response access accepted. The same way I have an administrator. Which can also authenticate with this password. Just imagine this to be any other radius enabled OTP system. Okay, now let's take a look at Privacy Idea 2.11. With Privacy Idea 2.11, you have a new possibility to define, um, well, I have to search it myself, to define radius servers. Here you see you can define, centrally define a list of radius servers. Um, for example, I defined a radius server which is located on my local host. Um, and that's all I can. Uh, I know this secret. In the same way, I can define many other servers if I need more of them, if I have more systems. Now, the interesting point is imagine you do not only have two users in your old system, but maybe you have 200. And you think it's a bit difficult to migrate 200 users immediately from one system to another. This is why with Privacy ID 2.11, you have this radius policy. In the scope authentication, you can define a policy and you may remember that there already was a pass through policy. And the pass through policy originally issued the authentication request to the user store, for example, to the LDAP directory, if the user had no token assigned within privacy idea. But this pass through policy was enhanced. You can either forward the authentication request to the user store or to any centrally defined radius server, for example, to my local host radius server. This policy is enabled for my default realm local SQL. Okay, I save this policy, pass through to local host. Now, when I take a look at my users here, I see that both users at the moment have no token within privacy idea. No problem, because the user still has, or both users still have tokens in the old proprietary authentication system, which I simulated with this local radius server. This means at this very moment, these users can authenticate against privacy idea with their old credentials, with their old tokens. Okay, let's do it. Please note, at the moment, you only have defined one single policy, only this one single policy here with this pass through to this old system. Now let's take a user. Um, if the user authenticates with his old token or his old password, you see top secret. We see 
the users authenticated and we see why the users authenticated because the credentials were validated by the radio server. Please note that privacy ID itself does not know anything about this password or about this OTP value, but it's simply forwards the request to the radio server. And the same is true for the administrator. He will be authenticated against the external radio server. Okay. Now, now you're in the situation you have installed the um, privacy idea in front of the, uh, your old OTP system, and you're running just the old tokens with the old OTP system, but authenticating against privacy idea. The interesting part now is that you do not have to change any configuration, any configuration setting. You simply go and enroll a token to a user, not caring about anything else in your infrastructure. So, um, well, I want to, I have a hardware token here. I assign this hardware token, this key fob to the user, assign token. And you see, now the administrator has a new token within privacy idea. So let's see what happens if the administrator tries to authenticate with his old credentials, with the old credential or the old OTP token from the original proprietary OTP server. As you might imagine, he fails to authenticate because privacy idea realizes, oh, the user administrator now has a token here within privacy idea and tries to authenticate the user against privacy idea, against the token within privacy idea. So the user has to provide the OTP pin from the token in privacy idea and has to provide the OTP value. And if he does so, he can authenticate successfully with a token within privacy idea. The interesting, again, the interesting part is that you can do a very smooth migration because you see some users already have a new token in privacy idea, but other users like my user Cornelius still do not have a token within privacy idea. They still have the old credential. They still have their old uh, RSA secure ID token or whatever. And if they authenticate with this, again, their authentication request gets forwarded to the old proprietary OTP server. So this way you can easily migrate all your users time after time, one after another to privacy idea. And finally, when all users have a new token in privacy idea, you can switch off your old server, which you will not need anymore. So I hope the migration concept, the migration possibility with privacy idea 2.11 will help you to be able to use a new modern authentication system with privacy idea. Thank you for watching.